And what are you what are you talking about, Ryan? Why is the Maryland State Police trying to regulate what I can do in other states? Let me go ahead and show you. So if I pull up my wallet, I can go ahead and go to the other side and I can show you what it says here. It says, and this is something that confuses people. I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. A person identified on the front of this card has the following permit restrictions. None. In uh, all capital letters, none. But then in parentheses, Maryland State Police have decided to put Maryland only, MD only. What does that mean? It means nothing. What it means is that the Maryland State Police and the bureaucrats appointed above uh, the Maryland State Police and the politicians in Maryland, they want to say, no, you know what? We're going to give you this permit. We're going we're gonna to sell you your right back in order to bear arms. We're selling it back to you. We stole it from you, but we're going to sell it back to you. Um, but we're going to try to say that your permit that we sold to you is only good in Maryland. That's what they're trying to tell you. They're trying to say, Virginia, we know you have a law in the books that say that you recognize anyone and everyone's permits, including our own, but we're telling you, Virginia, we're going to try to tell you how to run your commonwealth. We're going to try to tell your law enforcement how to enforce Virginia's laws. We're going to tell you that this person that you pulled over and you're dealing with them, when you see that it says Maryland only, we want you to arrest that person because we sold you that permit just to be able to carry and use your gun in Maryland. We did not sell you that with the idea that you were going to exercise your rights everywhere you go. So I appreciate you guys staying along for my TED Talk on a little bit of Maryland law and what Maryland permits are good for and what they're not good for. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button because I want to do more information about things like this. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below because I love making videos like this where I address comments that were put on different videos, even if it wasn't necessarily a question like this guy. Um, and again, this is not to uh, you know nitpick at him to give him or her, I don't know, it didn't really show me their gender, uh, what they decide their gender is, but uh, I'm not here to try to give them a hard time. I'm just trying to make a point that do not just trust anybody, also go out there and verify. Because if somebody gives you bad information, including but not limited to myself, and you go out there and act upon that bad information, Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Going based off what someone told you on a YouTube video or in a, a gun class or at the gun range told you, that's not going to get you out of that criminal indict, uh, indictment. So you need to go ahead and not only trust what the law is because of what someone told you, but also verify it. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe. and looking forward to seeing you subscribe on 